Okay, welcome back. I'm going to show you next how to put a post on because some people aren't always sure with WordPress. The dashboard will actually nowadays give you right to your first word blog post or what I tend to do is go across to posts. I usually click on that and then click on add new. You can go direct to add new or it's up on that screen there. But they know that people find it. I'm going to move the screen across a bit so that you can maybe see, and I'll squash the screen down a bit so you can see what it is. OK. Um, you put your post title in, so post title goes here, and then you need to put some text. And what I'm going to do is just put some Latin text in, just because it's easy to generate because there's sites that do it, so bear with Okay, the Latin's meaningless, it's just what um, typewriter, uh, well, printers and things have used as placeholder text effectively. So we've got a, and it's called lorem ipsum. If you want to generate it just for clients or whatever, you can just find loads of sites that will generate that. But ignore that, it's just there to put some quick content in rather than you watching me title, uh, type stuff out. That's the title I'm going to use, and that's the main post. Now, coming back further down, as you can see, that it's got it as a demo site at the moment. So, SEO title is the first bit that I put in, and you you can see it change there. Uh, the fo focus on that page is going to be that wouldn't normally be, <laughs> but that's it. And then the meta description is just going to be I'm just. Normally you would craft this, because I'll show you what it does in a second, but let's put some gibberish in. I'm sure Romans would disagree with me. And that tells me that I've got less characters left. Now, right, what that'll do, meta description is limited. Actually, let's go back to the title. The title is limited to 70 characters. I'd, I'd go with 65 rather than 70. What happens is that um, Google will cut it off after that. Well, in fact, before that, usually. So, 65 to 70 characters is your title. 156 characters is the uh, meta description. Now, normally, what that would be would be I'm cutting the wrong bit there. A call to action, but you can see it will appear there, and because it knows that's your focus keyword, it will do what Google does, which is bold the bits that happen. Once you're happy with that, you can either save as a draft, which I'm going to do, or you could have published. That's the next bit I'm going to talk about. If you remember, we set the permalink up, and that's a bit long. So I'm going to cut that down to size, change that. Up to you whether you do that or not, but if, if the URL goes on for too long, I find it a bit yucky. And then the power of Yoast is, once you've set all those, you can also do a page analysis. Uh, that, says, that says it's very difficult to read, that's because it's Latin. Yes, it would be. <laughs> um, keyword density is low because I haven't really done very much on that. There's no images. Page title is a bit short. Not got any outbound links, no subheadings. But the keyword phrase appears in the title, so you can see these change from red as warnings, amber as okayish, and green as fine. And you can follow through the recommendations as you see fit, really. Advanced, generally you wouldn't go into here. The defaults are fine. But what this means is you can go right the way down to page level and say, set the robots text, robot various meter in the meter tags on the page so you can if you want the whole page to be no follow it can be useful if it's a, a link off to other sites you don't really care about um, leave it normally it's indexed but if you again didn't want it indexed by the search engines and that's only a recommendation so don't rely on that you can change that and you can do those and if what I was doing to highlight more than one you can hold the control down control key down to hold to do more than one. So none of those, including the site 
map auto detect which comes back to the settings we set earlier site map priority do it automatically because you're never going to do that I don't it's it's only a recommendation anyway Google will totally ignore it canonical is something that um, basically it can be important but it probably isn't if you're not doing um, almost identical pages then you won't use that if you are then just read up on it because it's longer than I can explain in the video and most people won't need it uh, 301 redirect what that means is if you had an old page that was still linked to by people but is now out of date and it's now been replaced by a new page um, I don't know if it's last year's packages that you're offering and now you want to redirect to this page this this year's packages and you've changed the page name then you'd use that 301 redirect box uh, related posts the yet another related post plugin will do and then the publish button will actually make that live on the site sometimes takes a little while but not very long usually view post then we have the first page on our site a couple of other things you can do on that but we'll show you those in next next or next but one video so that's as easy as it is and if you make any changes to that page you'll see that the publish button changes to update so we'll come back to we'll do a bit more on posts in the next video